Okay, so not a fun one today. Really, really bad one, actually. We're going to break it down in this video. We did have two green trades to start the day. We're kind of going to gloss over those quickly to get to the big red one that I had in MTB today. Four times as big as any of my losers should be. So we're going to break down what happened there, why it was so big. These videos are tough to make, but I'm going to do it anyway because... It's got to be done when you're on YouTube if you want any credibility to show the bad days. And today was the worst day I have had in two years. Well, how long have I been back? A long time. I can't remember. So, you know, frustrating. Frustrated with it. Really don't feel like making this video, but we're going to do it anyway. So, let's trade. I was about to be done on the day. I actually stopped recording. I was editing my video when MTB started popping up and... This is where things went very, very wrong on the day. So I, I knew MTB was on earnings. I wasn't sure what, at the time, the cause of the, this current pop was, but I knew it was kind of some volume coming out of nowhere there. So in my mind, I was starting this thing very, very conservatively with just 25 shares, and I was like, all right, it's just 25 shares, so I've got plenty of room if this thing wants to run. Uh, but I wasn't expecting the run that it did, and... When I figured out what was going on later, they were having an earnings call talking about their earnings at the time. So I guess they were saying all kinds of niceties about MTB. And that's frustrating because MTB is one of my banks that I use. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to kind of watch this one. So far, so good. Don't really see anything wrong with it. Maybe could have spread those first entries out a little bit further. But like I said, in my brain, I was only doing 25 share starters, which is... Real, real tiny, especially for this price range in the hundreds here on MTB. So for what I thought it could probably do here, I was even smaller than I should have been. And I was doing that, like I said, just because, you know, it was about to be noon. It was kind of volume out of nowhere, and I knew it was earnings on the day. So in my brain, I thought I was doing the correct thing at the time with the real small size. And I was. It wasn't that I was doing it that wrongly. It was that... Uh, this thing ran a lot more than I was ready for, and I decided I wanted to fight it. And so why I say is that wasn't wrong, but it kind of got me with the thinking there, because in my mind, I didn't get off of that I'm in real small share size here. And once it started running points at a time here, in my mind, I was still in this thing pretty small, even though... You know, as you click the button, it adds up. So that's what's going to happen here on MDP, on MTB as it keeps running. Still only even in 150 shares. And I was looking at it, I was like, this thing I think is going to be really good. It's probably going to be a nice winning trade. And I was feeling pretty good about it. I was like, we got room to add because I started so small, which once again is why this one got me. So this is where I should have really looked at my P&L. And once I got up to where I kind of want that max loss to be, which is around $1,000 on any given uh, day, I don't want to generally really be going beyond $1,000 uh, on a max loss on a day. It's because that's where I really should have looked, given it a look to see where I was at, because clearly I wasn't doing the math correctly in my head once uh, it kept going here and it kept going points at a time. And that's really, really where it got me was I was focusing on how big and extended the move was and not focusing on as much how big the points were there as it added up in relation to my share size. So, you know, we're in 350 shares now and we're approaching that $1,000 loss mark on the trade, which is really kind of the max of what I want to be at on any given day, like I said. So really could have done well to look at my P&L here. And then that ad there was real quick and I just... I was getting like real, uh, I guess, convicted with it, real stubborn with it, because you can see those three ads there are real quick in a row, all within one candle. So didn't even let that candle run or work out or anything. And I was adding in bigger share size way, way too close together there on, on that. So we're going to get the final ad in here, and there it is right there. So you've got 750 shares short at 174.50. And at this point, I start doing some math in my head. I'm like, wait a minute. I've got 750 shares here. All right. It's time to cut this thing if it wants to run anymore. So I'm like, all right. 
maybe this is this red candle is where it starts pulling back in my favor. If it comes back down towards 175, I'll probably start taking some shares off to reduce this one down because I'm in way heavier than I ever intended to be when I started with those original 25 shares. But I'm going to have to put a stop at 180. Just that, that, that nice whole number if in case it uh, runs up there a little bit higher. So we're in here. Way too many shares at not a great average. And we're just going to wait and see what it does. Got the stop in there. And I'm just kind of sitting and waiting and seeing if we can get down towards 175 to start taking some shares off of this one. And I actually really thought it was going to just because this was such a crazy move. I was like, all right, this has got to be the time here. We're starting to put the red candle in. Buyers should probably be done. I'm in way bigger than I should be, but hopefully this is going to let me work out of it for, you know, break even, small red, small green, something along those lines. But in the event that it doesn't, I have my stop in up at 180. And unfortunately, it was not done here. It does want to pop up, and here it comes. Here's the pop. I'm like, oh boy, this is going to be rough. So it's going to come up to 180, and it's going to stop me out there all 750 shares for a four times bigger loser than it should have been. So, you know, that's pretty frustrating. Minus 4K on that trade. Uh, pretty frustrated with it overall. Nothing to blame but myself. You know, the this, this strategy was is right if you do it correctly. The move was really big and nice. I just played it all kinds of wrong. And for whatever reason, just decided to, you know, lose myself and let it get away from me today. So... A 4x max loser trade than I want it to be. Gonna suck for a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit to work out of that uh, hole that I dug myself. But you know, still got uh, still got plenty of room to go there. So it sucks. Gonna have to just move on from it. Gonna probably have a bad day now thinking about it all day. But in the end, it is just 4k. So you know, nothing I can't make back in a month or so and hopefully be right back on track. So that's the video, guys. I know I'm going to get all kinds of hate down in the comments. I get it. It's okay. I'll see you later.